Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, this time we will be talking mainly how we can um, produce subtitles and how we can provision uh, these subtitles and overlay them on, on the video. However, before we start doing that, let's talk about a concept called chroma or chroma key. Um, it's very familiar. A lot of people are familiar with the term chroma. Chroma basically is a color, a solid color that we turn into transparent while producing the video. Um, this is my humble um, understanding of, of Chroma and this is how it's exactly what's working. So let's play around with it a little bit. So if you recall from the previous time, we had our welcome, we had the starting hymn, we had the ending hymn, and we had all the bits and pieces that we wanted to, to produce. So let's go to the scene, which in this case, our Zoom call. So for example, I'm running here on, on a Zoom call. So I'm capturing this, if you remember, as a window. And I will play a little bit with the chroma key within that video. So let's start by adding a chroma key within a filter. So here, for example, I added a chroma key. Let's, let's remove it and start from the, from the beginning. So let's apply a chroma key and say solid red. Yeah. And in this case, I will choose a custom color and I will choose solid red like this. As you can see, as you can see immediately, because there's a lot of background that is kind of shades of red. As soon as I put it like this, it's starting to make it look like as if it is transparent. So I'll make it slightly less aggressive and let's play around with it. So here, for example, this is my notebook, which has red leather. So what I'm doing here is that we are transfer making this into a transparent color. So it is showing what's in the background. So let me show you how is that happening exactly. So here we have the zoom call, which has the chroma key applied to it, the red chroma key applied to it. And underneath it, I added the static image that we're seeing. So let's move switch to that scene completely. And turn on our zoom call view. As you do this, and it is now live, you can see that everything is solid, everything is solid red until I start to present this, right? So even though this is my Zoom call, even though on my Zoom call it is solid red, but this solid red has turned into transparent piece, which is showing the underneath lying image, which in this case the St. Lawrence's image. Yeah, right. So how can we make use of this in, in a more practical way? So the key word is that we want to overlay the text. The easiest way for us to do it was to start with a blank presentation, um, PowerPoint presentation. So I'm starting off completely blank presentation, white, and I will make some modifications to it so that we can use it for our purpose. So in this case, I will go to right click on the empty background format. And I will choose a solid color. So let's choose solid green like this one, for example. And I will click apply to all so that all future slides will show as green. So all the future slides that we will create within that presentation will be of solid green color. Let's apply this, add this as a capture, uh, as, as a window capture source. So I will add a window capture source. And I will choose the PowerPoint presentation, which is this one, this window. Great. Right. And I will right click on it, 
choose filters, add filter. In this case, I'll choose, I will choose chroma key. The moment you choose chroma key or want to create a chroma key, it will create it immediately as green, which is brilliant, makes our lives a lot easier. So as you can see here, now the window, even though that there are green blocks here, now they are considered completely transparent. Right. So the next step is that we want to actually put the text on on that um, slide. So let's start by adding a text box, inserting a text box. And let's start with, I don't know, OK. Um, oh, God make speed to save us. And the response from everyone will be, oh Lord, make haste to help us. I will make it slightly bigger because this is barely even visible. is betraying me. So I set it to white and I will make the font a lot bigger like this. Yep. And as you can see the content is starting um, is starting to show but it is barely readable and if someone had a white background or white piece of paper or wearing white, this will not be readable whatsoever. So the next step to do is to create some sort of um, a shadow around the letters and make it more prominent. So how we will do that, we will go and right click on the format text, uh, format text effects, which will show us here a lot of things. So I'm going to use the glow and I will use a solid glow and instead of blue I will make it black. I'll make it a lot thicker like this. I don't know, 45 points. And let's see how that will look like on the screen. So it is slightly better now. However, it is still not as good. So there is more to be done, right? So let's make more changes to it. Let's go to the text options again and go to the glow. And instead of that high level of transparency, I will make it, I don't know, let's say 25%. It's looking slightly better. However, there is a solid green stuff around it, which I'm not very pleased with. So I'm going back again into the text and instead of making it any type of transparency, I'll make it no transparency whatsoever. And let's make it solid as well and see how that looks like on the screen. It's looking slightly better now. So the next thing to do is I will make a slight change to the chroma key filter. Like this. So I'm, I'm, I'm sliding this similarity piece, which will try to see green and things like that look like green and will make it transparent. So I'm just trying to strike a balance between what should be and what shouldn't be done. So here, let's go back again. This is looking quite OK. I will just rearrange something. And let's make that slide show happen within a window. If I do slideshow like this, it will fill the screen, as you see now and I will not be able to see what, what's going on. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that this slideshow happens within a window so that I can 
capture this window while, be, while being able to continue with everything I'm doing. So to do this, you go to the Slideshow tab, Slideshow Setup, and browse by an individual window. And let's go back again and make Slideshow. Now you can see that the Slideshow is in a window, which I can easily resize. And here it is. So there we have it. Right. However, we have this weird slide, sorry, the weird um, little black tab, which I will want to remove. So we will want to crop it by pressing the Alt button and clicking on the bottom side of this. And we are moving up a little bit like this. Right. Now we have it. So we have the subtitles, which we can now put on the screen. And now you can see that if I have white background, it's still visible. If I am behind, I have a solid black background, like the back of my seat, for example, you can see that it is also showing nicely and it is readable. Let's make more formatting. Um, optimizations to make it look nicer. So what I will do, I will move it to the center, a little bit to the bottom. And the all, for example, I will make it in italic. And we'll make that into a red color so that it will be distinguishable. That this is not something that we would read. This is for everyone to do. Now, this is how it will look like. You start by building up more blocks like this. So I will copy this entire slide and we'll change the content into the text box to match the service order of, of what we're doing. Yeah. And when we're done, we will end up with a finished product similar to, um, let me show you something that is already done, which is the Compline service that we have been running throughout the past 10 days. So this is the pack for the Compline service. Now I will close that one. You can see that we have all the words or the responses um, already provisioned like this. Yeah, so let's start immediately by putting this on the screen and see how that will look like. Let's start from here. Let's resize it to make it slightly within window. Like this. Much better. So now what we see is that we have the Zoom call or the video and overlaying on top of it is the captions or whatever slides that we really have. And as our um, uh, vicar or whoever is leading the service go through the service, we would continue flicking the slides and follow the service order. Great. Now, there will be a question of, um, is this the only way that we can do captions? No, this is not the only way. There are many, many ways that you can do captions. There is one capacity, uh, one tool that is available here, which is quite experimental, which is called captions, automatic captions. Um, however, I don't really recommend automatic captioning um, for many reasons. One, it is unpredictable. It is a machine that is trying to understand who's saying what. Um, there are a lot of typos that happen when, when we use automatic captioning. So I personally refrain from it. Um, 
there are many other ways you can use instead of PowerPoint, you can use Google Slides, for example, which is completely free for everyone. And you can do practically everything that we have done today on Google uh, Slides. Um, there will you you will find other tutorials on the Internet that rely on um, automatic captioning. Again, I'm not a big fan. And the reason is I want something for our service that it is predictable um, because everyone will have slightly different accent. And the last thing that we want to do is to have someone's accent being misinterpreted by a machine as something different. Um, so yeah, there you have it. So if we start our service now, we are going through um, the full service that we have created. So now we have the welcome. And then we will start with the hymn. I hope you can hear it in the recording. Now it is running. And now I will go while, and, and the luxury here, remember that we're using studio mode. And we have a luxury here that we can look about how things will look like on the screen before it actually shows up on the screen. So I will go to the first slide, for example. And now we are ready to go live. And once we're ready to go live, um, this is our first slide. I, I choose a blank. Um, I choose a blank um, slide as a welcome. And I usually have my mouse uh, cursor at the top. And now let's move to our scene. So as the service is starting, as the vicar or whoever is leading uh, the lay minister is leading the service, um, I start going through the slides like this. Fairly straightforward, fairly simple, and most of all, it is predictable. And you can see that no matter whatever the background is, if it's white, if it's black, the text still visible. So um, yeah, there you have it. This is how we do um, subtitles and captions at St. Lawrence's for our services. Hope you found this useful. Please feel free to let me know if you need um, uh, topics or how to's about a slightly different topic. Um, and we will do, uh, I'll do my best to, to, to make it happen. Um, Next time, um, maybe we can choose by uh, start by um, having an end-to-end -end service, stream, including the streaming or the recording, wh whichever really you want to do. Um, we will do the tutorial for for mainly for YouTube, but I will show you also how you can do it for other platforms like uh, Facebook. How we can make that configuration. Um, till then, uh, I hope you found this useful and. Um, see you soon. Bye.